deserved for us, right, Beth? With all the rain that we've seen throughout this week, it will be completely dry here this afternoon. No threat of any rainfall. Here's another look in green, Castle, and similar to what you see in Bloomington. Just a few fair weather clouds out there, and that's the way it'll be going forward. Temperatures are a little on the cool side for this time of year. At 59, still in Kokomo, 60 in Greenwood, Indianapolis at 62 degrees. And we'll continue to see these numbers climb here throughout the afternoon hours. It'll be a little bit breezy. That's the only flaw in the forecast, but eventually a high rate up to 69 degrees, and that's only a few degrees below our normal high of 72 degrees. Now it's Friday. You may have plans later on this evening. You will be just fine if those plans include being outdoors. But it does cool off back into the 50s by 10 p.m. with skies that will be partly cloudy. Sunset this evening is at 852. But if you're going to be out much past 10 o'clock, then you will run the risk of seeing a few showers. We do have a cold front that is off to our north. And this cold front is going to provide very chilly air, unfortunately, for the weekend. That's the main influence it's going to have. But as as it comes through, there will be a few very, very light rain showers. Here we are around the midnight hour. That's when the showers are starting to make their way through the state. And there could be a few heavier downpours, but we are not expecting any severe weather as this cold front goes through. And it's not out of the question. An isolated shower or two could linger into very early Saturday morning. But for as a whole, Saturday is going to be a pretty dry day for us. Unfortunately, it is going to be very chilly. So we'll start as, with the weekend as a whole here and then kind of break it down for you day by day. Tomorrow, 54 degrees. Degrees, windy, very cool. Sunday, 59, slightly warmer, a little more in the way of sunshine. But if you're heading to the Grand Prix tomorrow, and of course you can uh, watch our preview coverage starting at 1 o'clock here on RTV6, you'll want to have the jacket. Temperatures will top off again right around 54 degrees with skies that'll be mostly cloudy. No threat of any rainfall out there at the track, so that's at least good news. And then fast forwarding into Sunday morning, Take a look at this. Temperatures will be anywhere from about 35 to 39 degrees. Not out of the question if we could get the winds to calm down that we could have a little bit of patchy frost out there. So certainly something to note Sunday morning if you're going to be out early, maybe heading to church. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, our temperature will warm to 59 degrees. So we do rebound pretty nicely with partly cloudy skies, but still running well below normal for May standards here across the area. So as you look at your seven-day planning forecast here, temperatures for the weekend will be chilly. You'll need the jacket handy. Monday, increasing clouds, a high of 63. But Beth, it'll be on Tuesday that we'll have the best chance of showers and storms. And as the rain chances increase, the good news is our temperatures do as well. By Thursday, we're back up to 70 degrees.